Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless your sweetheart. Now, I am missing some folks here. I don't know if you're not getting notifications or if you're having some type of trouble, trouble in your life. And perhaps you need us to pray more than we already do for you. So, um, I don't know if you're not getting the notifications or if you're having trouble. But if you are getting your notifications, please comment down below if you were okay or in need of additional prayer. Okay, now we're in the book of Exodus and we are in chapter 16. And they took their journey from Elam and all the congregation of the children of Israel came unto the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the 15th day of the second month after their departing out of the land of Egypt. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured or grumbled against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots, and when we did eat bread to the full. For, we, for ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Now these flesh pots were pots of meat like cattle, and um, sheep. Verse 4. Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain um, a rate every day, or a portion, that I may prove or test them whether they will walk in my law or no. And it shall come to pass that on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they, which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. Now the reason they would gather twice as much on the sixth day is because God had hallowed the Sabbath, the seventh day. This was after God had created things with the breath of his word and worked six days. And the seventh day he rested and he hallowed that day and he made it holy for, um, uh, for as a perpetual um, uh, observance. Now, verse 6. And so they weren't going to work on the Sabbath gathering food. Verse, verse 6. And Moses and Aaron said unto all the children of Israel, At Eve, then ye shall know that the Lord hath brought you out from the land of Egypt. And in the morning, then ye shall see the glory of the Lord for that he heareth your murmurings or grumblings against the Lord. And what are we that ye murmur against us? And Moses said, This shall be when the Lord shall give you in the evening flesh to eat, and in the morning bread to the full. For that the Lord heareth your murmurings, which ye murmur or grumble against him. And what are we? Your murmurings are not against us, but against the Lord. And Moses spake unto Aaron, Say unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before the Lord, for he hath heard your murmurings or grumblings. And it came to pass, as Aaron spake unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel. Speak unto them, saying, At eve ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. And it came to pass that at eve the quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning the dew lay round about the host. And when the dew that lay up, the that oh, excuse me and when the dew that lay was gone up behold upon the face of the wilderness 
There lay a small round thing, as small as the hoar frost on the ground. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, It is manna. For they wist not what it was. And, manna, and, and Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. And this uh, word manna, when, um, when it says it is manna, what it translates into is, what is it? <laughs> this is the thing which the Lord commanded. Gather of it every man according to his eating, an omer for every man according to the number of your persons. Take ye every man for them which are in his tents. And the children of Israel did so and gathered, some more, some less. And when they did meet or measure it with an omer, he that gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no lack. They gathered every man according to his eating. Doesn't that remind you of um, Ezekiel when he went to, um, no, um, Elijah, when he went to the widow and her son and the jar of flour and the, and the um, flask of oil never became empty. So it doesn't matter if they, or if they picked up a lot or a little, it would only measure an omer according to the word of God. And Moses said, let no man leave it till the morning. So don't keep it overnight. And they gathered it every morning, every man according to his eating. And when the sun waxed hot, it melted. And it came to pass that on the sixth day they gathered twice as much bread, two omers for one man. And all the rulers of the con congregation came and told Moses. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Beg that ye will bake today and see if that ye will seethe or boil and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning and they did and they laid it up till the morning as Moses bade and it did not stink neither was there any worm therein and Moses said Eat that today, for today is a Sabbath unto the Lord. Today ye shall not find it in the field. Because there's no work to be done on the Sabbath. Six days shall ye gather it, but on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, in it there shall be none. And it came to pass that there went out some of the people on the seventh day for to gather, and they found none. And the Lord said unto Moses, How long refuse ye to keep my commandments and my laws? See, for that the Lord hath given you the Sabbath. Therefore he giveth you on the sixth day the bread of two days. Abide ye every man in his place. Let no man go out of his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. And the house of Israel called the name thereof manna. And it was like coriander seed, white, and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commandeth. Fill an omer of it to be kept for your generations, that they may see the bread wherewith I have fed you in the wilderness when I brought you forth from the land of Egypt. Oh my goodness, for a memorial. A souvenir. <laughs> and Moses said unto Aaron, Take a pot, and put an omer full of manna therein, and lay it up before the Lord, to be kept for your generations. And the Lord commanded Moses, so Aaron laid it up before the testimony, to be kept. And the children of Israel did eat manna forty years, until they came to a land inhabited. They did eat manna until they came unto the borders of the land of Canaan. Now an omer is the tenth part of an epoch.
Hmm. Verse 17. And all the congregation of the children of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin after their journeys, according to the commandment of the Lord, and pitched in Rephidim. And there was no water for the people to drink. Wherefore the people did chide with Moses, or contended with Moses, and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, Why chide ye with me? Wherefore do ye tempt or test the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water, and the people murmured against Moses, and said, Wherefore is this that thou hast brought us up out of Egypt, to kill us and our children and our cattle with thirst? And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, What shall I do unto this people? They be almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people, and take with thee of the elders of Israel, and thy rod, wherewith thou smotest the river, take in thine hand, and go. Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock in Horeb, and thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it, that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel, and he called the name of the place Masha and Meribah, which means tempted and contention, because of the chiding or the contention of the children of Israel, and because they tempted or tested the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us or not? Then came Amalek and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out, men, and go out, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in mine hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him, and fought with Amalek. And Moses and Aaron and Hur went up to the top of the hill. And it came to pass, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat thereon. And Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands, or held them up, the one on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discontented, or discomfited, or defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book, and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua, for I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Jehovah Nisa, which is, The Lord is my banner. For he said, Because the Lord, because the Lord, a hand is upon the throne of the Lord, swore that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. And I think we'll stop there. I don't want to run over 15 minutes. And as always, I love you. Are you grumbling before the Lord? Are you grumbling to man? Because they can't help you. Pray to God. And as always, I love you.